A woman living with a rare illness wants to use her experience to help others. Channel 8's Kelsey Murphy has more on her story. Kelsey? Megan, it's a disorder that makes everyday tasks dangerous to her body. She spent years in pain struggling to find a diagnosis. Tonight, she shares her story, hoping to help some people recognize their symptoms. At first sight, Carrie Waybright seems like an ordinary 31 year old woman. Beautiful. I get told all the time I don't look my age. A proud mother. Yeah. And an inspiring musician. But it's what you can't see that makes her so remarkable and prone to injuries, not just any injuries. She breaks ribs, picking up boxes and even needed hand surgery after just grasping a cup of water. Waybright has Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, also known as EDS, and it does not have a cure. The illness makes her joints overly flexible and her skin stretchy and fragile. Having an invisible illness is really hard. Um, it's easy to, to look at me and, and maybe think that I look healthy or I look young and everything's great in my life and um, not see the pain that I go through. The illness changed her life. Waybright was classically trained to play the flute. It even landed her a college scholarship. She can't play for more than just a few minutes out of fear that she'll break her fingers. For years, Waybright was told the pain was in her head. Professionals even prescribed her with antidepressants. I started questioning myself on, you know, am I really going through this? Or, you know, I felt there was something wrong with me, but no one else did. She was right. And even though it breaks her bones, her diagnosis can't break her. Waybright strives to be the best mother, musician, and person she can be. This month is EDS Awareness Month, and Waybright owes all of her accomplishments to knowledge. She wants people to be able to recognize the symptoms and do something about it, because awareness can make a difference. Well, we certainly hope her story will help others if they are suffering from the same illness. Of course. Thanks, Kelsey.